Hola! Welcome to Glossy Cat's Wall Kitchen. Today we are going to make one of my favorite dishes, guacamole. I love guacamole because it's quick to make, simple, fresh and super tasty. A perfect snack when hosting a party and to share with friends. Do you know what is the key to great guacamole? Fresh ingredients. Let's get started. So laid out in front of us here, we have all our ingredients. I've seen a lot of people keep the avocado first, but a little secret my abuela showed me every time I cook with her, she will always start every recipe with onion and garlic. It gives the guacamole more flavor when we soak it with lime juice. So I'm going to start with dicing up our onions and garlic and adding it to the bowl. I like to use red onion for the flavor and to also add a bit of color to the guacamole. Red onion in Spanish is called cebolla roja. Cebolla roja. After we have our onion diced, we will add it to the bowl and mince a couple garlic cloves. I like to use one to two big cloves because garlic is so flavorful. Of course, you can use however much you prefer. Garlic clove in Spanish is diente de ajo, diente de ajo. Great! So now that we have our garlic and onion together, we need to give it some acidity with one of the main stars of this dish, lime. We're going to roll the lime before cutting to open up the juices and then squeeze it into our bowl. You can also save a bit of lime juice for later, but get a good amount to cover our onion and garlic. Limes are a staple in Latin cuisine and one of the easiest words to learn. Lima, lima. After we squeeze a good amount of lime juice in our bowl, Let's give everything a mix and let this sit and create flavor while we work on our other ingredients. So guacamole is how everyone in the world knows to call this dish. But did you know this Spanish word originated from the ancient Aztec language? Guacamole actually dates all the way back to the 1500s. Yes, the Aztecs were eating guacamole long before this dish became a global favorite. Next, we'll take cilantro or coriander and chop it up finely to throw it into our mixture. If you are one of those people that thinks cilantro tastes like soap, I feel bad for you, but this part is optional. I personally love cilantro, so I'm going to add a handful. The words cilantro and jalapeño are already in Spanish, so you actually know some Spanish already. Now, time for the main event, the avocados. Be careful when you are peeling this, and always use a spoon to scoop them out before giving them a quick chop. I like to use three to four avocados for my guacamole recipe, depending on the size. Avocado in Spanish is aguacate, aguacate. Lastly, we're going to take one big tomato or two small ones. If you have Roma tomatoes, those are the best, but you can use cherry tomatoes for a bit of a sweetness to match the acidity. Dice the tomatoes up and throw them in your bowl. Tomato in Spanish is tomate, tomate. And now mash the avocados and make our whack. In Mexico, we love to make guacamole for big celebrations and events like Cinco de Mayo or Day of the Dead also called Dia de los Muertos. In Spanish-speaking countries, food is such a big part of our life and culture and a big way we show our love. So the next time you want to make a quick and simple dish to share with your family and friends, guacamole is the way to go. Let's review the Spanish words we learned in this video. You can practice with me. Today, we use these ingredients three avocados, tres aguacates, tres aguacates, one red onion, una cebolla roja, una cebolla roja, 
one or two garlic cloves, uno o dos dientes de ajo, uno o dos dientes de ajo, two limes or dos limas, dos limas, one jalapeño pepper, un chile jalapeño, un chile jalapeño, one tomato, un tomate, un tomate, cilantro, un manojo de cilantro, un manojo de cilantro. Now go enjoy some fresh guacamole and let us know in the comments below what other recipes and languages you like to learn about. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Glossika channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Adios.